Welcome back. I'm Paul Polverino from Exalta Australia and today's paint defect is corrosion or more commonly known as rust. This is where the surface of the metal substrate is exposed and shows corrosion in the form of brownish red spots in the case of steel substrates. With aluminium, a thin white oxide layer forms naturally on the surface's protection against further corrosion. However, this layer can cause a loss of adhesion if not removed thoroughly before overcoating with the paint system. In the case of galvanised substrates, a white corrosion powder, a kind of salt, can form which will again affect adhesion if not completely removed. Today's modern vehicles have much better protection against corrosion due to advanced materials and processes used during the manufacturing stage. However, extreme environmental conditions and poor maintenance can still lead to corrosion issues. And of course, if the vehicle is to be repaired, always use the recommended processes and products to make sure corrosion will never be a problem. But we'll talk more about that later. So what causes this defect? When bare metal is exposed to moisture and air, an oxidation reaction takes place that causes damage and disintegration of the metal, starting from the exposed metal and in some cases spreading to a much larger area. Corrosion can occur because of damage to the paint, such as a stone chip. If the stone chip is deep enough to penetrate through all the layers of paint and exposes the bare metal surface, then it's almost certain that the corrosion reaction will begin. That scratch and dent from 12 months ago can turn into a major rust repair if left too long before rectification. Poor preparation of the metal surface early in the repair process can also be a contributing factor to corrosion. Think about when you must finally push the vehicle or move a repaired panel into the spray booth. Everything is clean and perfect, but we touch the clean metal with our bare hands, depositing oil and salt residue from our skin. Without a doubt, this will be the start of some corrosion, even with the correct preparation and application of a suitable paint system. We can see from these images, a simple handprint can soon become a big problem. Today's vehicles can also have a mix of metal qualities, such as steel and aluminium. Dedicated tools and workstations for all aluminium repairs are mandatory. This is to prevent electrochemical corrosion due to dissimilar metals coming into contact with each other. Steel sanding particles should never come in contact with aluminium. Separate tools are needed in order to prevent a cross-contamination of metals. The best prevention is to always follow Exalta's repair processes. When preparing new OEM parts, Try not to remove the e-coat through aggressive sanding, especially on edges and corners where it's easy to rub through. The phosphate layer and e-coat should be kept intact wherever possible to produce long-lasting refinish work. Care should be taken with bare metal areas, making sure the metal is sanded and cleaned before applying the most suitable etch primer. Don't leave the exposed repair area for too long, especially in high humidity, which could lead to flash rusting. The choice of etch primer could depend on the size of the repair, the OEM or warranty approval process being followed, and even what surfaces and fillers are being used over the etching primer. Exalta has a range of options for corrosion protection from 1K acid etching primers and epoxy primer surfaces to ready for use etch wipes. And whilst Exalta always recommends an etch primer based repair system for ultimate corrosion protection, epoxy primer based solutions can also provide a good corrosion protection alternative. Please remember the technical data sheets will always provide the recommended product guidance. For classic restorations, it's absolutely crucial that you have the best possible preparation. Starting with an anti corrosive etching primer for long term protection, followed by a surfacer or filler and then working with a polyester stoppers or body fillers. Working in a controlled environment with good quality equipment and clean, moisture-free compressed air will all help minimise the risk. Look after your vehicle. It's a good idea to always keep the vehicle exterior in good condition, free of dirt, salt and mud. In countries where salt is used in winter to help de-ice the roads, it's even more important that you not only wash the car regularly, but also prepare your vehicle in winter time with a paint protecting wax or a quality polish. 
Check for stone chips and small scratches that might have exposed the bare metal areas and touch up as soon as possible and hopefully stop corrosion from occurring. When it comes to rectifying corrosion, it usually requires the removal of all the affected paint areas. Mechanical sanding and in severe cases, sandblasting heavily controlled areas will be needed to remove all traces of rust. Clean and prime as quickly as possible and remember to start with the correct Exalter anti-corrosive etching primer. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time in our paint defects tutorial.